the Tri-State. This is 14 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Aaron Hancock. We continue our Touchdown Live two-a-day high school football previews with a look at Pike Central. The Chargers have a long streak going, but it's not the kind that they're very excited about. Pike Central's football program has had 27 straight losing seasons, including a one-win campaign last year. Head coach Dustin Powell comes into his seventh season, though, with a solid young nucleus of 23 sophomores that he's excited about. One of them is Jalon Owens at tailback, who will team with returning junior starter Dakota Walker to form a solid one-two punch at running back. The Chargers' schedule looks like this. They kick off the season with a couple of non-conference games against North Knox and Princeton. Then they get into their always tough pocket athletic conference schedule with a visit from Heritage Hills. They finish the back half of their schedule with three of their last four on the road, including back-to-back -back games against Gibson Southern and Southridge. As we told you last night, first place was on the line between the Otters and the Wild Things. At the end of our newscast, the game was still hanging in the balance, tied 2-2 in the 10th inning. By now, most of you probably know how this one finished, but for those who don't, or if you just left the game and missed it, we went back out to Bossy Field after the show, and we have the highlights of the amazing finish. We'll pick it up in the top of the 12th, 2-2, and Washington with a runner at third when Carter Bell lays down the squeeze bunt. The runner had only gone halfway until Edgar Lopez throws to first. Then he hustles home, beating the throw back, and it's 3-2 wild things. But the Otters don't give up. After one out in the bottom of the 12th, Jeremy Nowak and Chris Elder get clutch back-to-back -back singles to put runners on first and second. That would set the stage for Chris Sweeney again. He launches this 1-2 pitch deep into the gap into left center, and it one-hops the wall. Both Nowak and Elder come around to score, and that's it. The Otters win it 4-3, and it's deja vu as they beat Washington for the second straight night on a walk-off hit by Chris Sweeney. It was almost like a, like a blackout moment, but uh, just looking for something over the plate the whole at bat. I uh, couldn't, I didn't pull the trigger on one, and I was hoping to get that, get that pitch again. And he gave it to me, and uh, didn't miss it. I was just fortunate to be the guy in the position to get it done both nights. Just the fact that it's in the thick of a pennant race in August makes it that much better. So with the win, the Otters are alone in first place for now by a full game over both Washington and Southern Illinois. Game three with the Wild Things is still on, but it won't start until six o'clock tonight due to the recent rain. We'll have highlights at ten. In the bigs, the Cardinals are looking to bounce back after they blew a four-run lead last night to the Padres, and they didn't waste any time. Bottom of the first, John Jay rifles one into right field. Matt Carpenter and Colton Wong both score, and it's 2-0 cards. They would score four in the first, and then in the second, it's Carpenter with a solo bomb to right. 5-0 cards. They would barely hang on to win this one, though, 7-6. In New York, Cubs and Mets today as the youth movement's in full swing for Chicago, 15 and a half games out of in first in the NL Central. We pick it up scoreless in the fourth until the Cubs' Luis Valbuena singles to right. Mega prospect Juan Baez scores to make it 1-0. The Mets would tie it in the eighth, but in the ninth, Starlin Ca Castro gets the game-winning home run. Cubs win 2-1. Jake Arrieta, nice seven-inning scoreless effort for Chicago. Finally tonight, the NASCAR Pure Michigan 400. Jeff Burton filling in for Tony Stewart. Once again, sitting out after that tragic dirt track accident. Kyle Larson's car catches on fire there. He would be okay. Fast forward to 17 laps to go. Joey Logano with the lead off a restart, but Jeff Gordon passes him. And from there, Gordon goes on to win it. Kevin Harvick was second. Joey Logano was third. All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. 